everyone. Welcome back to Children of Verte. We're so excited to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, as usual, we're going to jump right over to Adam Bradford, beautiful Adam Bradford, uh, to tell us all about today's sponsors, please. First, we have Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. Thank you so much for the support. You can find an Electrum chest code on the overlay and bouncing around in chat. Good luck out there. Wait, no, this isn't a giveaway. I don't know why I'm saying good luck. To <laughs> I mean, good luck that what good you pull out of the Electrum good luck chest is always is, nice. Yeah. Is the perfect gear for your champions. You can overcome all of the waves that you need to overcome. All right. Um, but yeah, check that out. Thanks so much for the support. We have Die Hard Dice, who has gifted our cast with. I'm going to have to take a breath in the middle of this one, but they have gifted our cast with Lauren Urban's Undoers of the Unnatural and Upsetters of the Urbane. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm impressed. I am super impressed. That was a also, pretty good I, one there. Yeah, it was a whole sentence. I'm kind of, it was. I'm kind of honored. Having it top themselves. <laughs> you can get, well, it's downhill from there. Sorry. The rest of you <laughs> get, we're going to get paragraphs. Soon we're going to get a short story. It's going to be great. Uh, yeah, no, they get shorter, I think. Uh, it's it's, it's the uh, it's no. the unders of the unnatural and the what of the uh, urbane? The undoers of the unnatural and the upsetters. Upsetters. Of the urbane. Yeah. yeah. All right. Wow. And you can get 10% off in the Die Hard store with the code Erte. And we are also giving away a $20 promotional gift code. Good luck. That one is a giveaway. So good luck for that one. Pay attention to the prompts in chat. And finally, tonight, you'll hear the dulcet tones of Sirenscape because epic games need epic sound. My head is in a thousand different places. <laughs> I'm Adam Bradford. I am the CEO here at Demi Plane. We've had a big week. We've got Marvel character tools out there, so you can check out all those characters. Uh, Cataclysm of Kang is releasing uh, today as well, so you can go and find uh, over 200 Marvel characters wow. in the character builder that you can jump off from, so, so check that out. And today we also released Candela Obscura Nexus, so if you are a fan of that investigative horror show, then you can go and check out the Nexus. We've got uh, character tools available from day one. Uh, really, really great. The team has worked really, really hard on that. So check out all of the things that are going on. But tonight, I am playing Silas Sorrell, your dimensionally displaced magical super fan. Yay! Hey everybody, I'm Alicia Marie, and my socials are Alicia Marie Body, and I'm a costume artist, RPG performer, and actor. And uh, I just wanted to mention that last night was the actually the premiere of Dungeons & Dragons Adventures, which is an Woo! Amazon freebie. It's three different programs underneath one umbrella called Dungeons & Dragons Adventures. So there's like Heroes Feast and Counterparty, and Faster Purple Worm Kill Kill, which I'm on, and a bunch of people in this cast are also on an episode or episodes. And I think Purple Worm doesn't premiere until Thursday, and that'll be episode yep. one. We'll find out what episodes we're on, and we'll brag about it when it's time. <laughs> Tonight, I am playing Cruz Armstrong, attorney at law, and I forgot I have the best magic item. <laughs> You forgot about the best magic item. I know. You? What are we doing? <laughs> Don't forget about the best magic <laughs> item. It feels so lonely. <laughs> you mean love. So sad. <laughs> it's just poking at you going, Alicia. Perusa. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Um, that's how you get cursed magic items. <laughs> oh. Come back with a vengeance. No. Um, wait, I, should, I should not tempt Kate. Um, <laughs> Hello, my name is Jen Kretschmer. I uh, I do a bunch of things. I am a writer. I'm an actor. I'm a producer. I, I make I make the stories. That's what I do. I make stories in different places and mediums. And yeah, uh, you can find me on socials as at Dreamwisp. Um, I have some stuff coming up, but I don't know if I'm allowed to. I think I'm not. Oh, never mind. Secret stuff. Um, secret stuff. Secret stuff will happen. Stuff will happen soon. Oh, um, but for now, check happen? out Dreams and Machines. Yeah, secret stuff will happen at some point. There are th things. Um, the but also, of stuff. Candela Obscura is awesome. It's so cool. Check it out. Seriously. And Adam is beautiful. And Adam <laughs> is beautiful. <laughs> but who are you playing tonight? Oh, right. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Distracted we're so, by we're so stunned and distracted. I'm just, it's it's, Adam's so beauty. Distracted by Adam's it's beauty. just Adam being beautiful. It's uh, the vibrant purple shirt. Um, <laughs> uh, still tonight, I, tonight, I am playing uh, your friendly neighborhood troublemaker, Maeve Morgan Flynn. <laughs> All right, that shirt is amazing. Thank Wait, you for backing up. Yeah, uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. It says, I choose to believe. Oh, yes. That's kind of the perfect shirt to be wearing tonight yes. for Chilo Verte. Hi, I'm Lauren Urban. I'm the content manager over at Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. You can find me at my website, lauren-urban.com, because I've given up on all the socials. Not really, <laughs> but, you know, it's it's just easier this way. Um, and the only thing that sucks about it is I'm not able to see Adam's beautiful face on a regular basis. But <laughs> I get to see him and all these other lovely people tonight as I'm playing Carolyn Debstern, who I'm real sorry, Alicia. I have the best magic item because I have summoned my, my puppy wolf. Oh, that's true. Roll initiative anyway. Okay. <laughs> my, my wolf and your shield will fight. <laughs> and hello, everyone. I'm Hope Lavelle. You can follow me on the socials as the Hope Lavelle. You can watch me as a dungeon master on Misfits of Alceta every Wednesday on the That's How We Roll channel. But tonight I am playing Miss Robin Beckett, your favorite granny for hire, who has the best magic item ever. Oh, that's that is right. uh, her friends. Oh, I wish. Yeah, but how many magic dolls. items for you? Yeah. <laughs> you win this um. one, Robin. <laughs> And I'm Deborah Ann Wool. I'm your storyteller for this evening. And yes, want to reiterate the amazing new Dungeons and Dragons Adventures, you know, app, TV channel, and of the Heroes Feast and Counterparty and Faster Purple Worm Kill Kill. So excited. Candle Obscura. Also, Desi Quest coming out tonight. Yeah, Very exciting. Right. All the, I was like, in what perfect world are we living in which I have three <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons events today? Yeah that i have to choose from but hope luckily vod's are a thing and they exist mm -hmm. <laughs> so so excited for the world and all of this amazing rpg content that we have available to us um all at once what an what an exciting lovely collaborative space and i'm so excited for all of our our co-workers <laughs> and collaborators <laughs> um but tonight we are going to play some children of their day um, so yes, yeah, so join us, settle in, find something comfy to cuddle in or something warm to drink for, mm -hmm. oh gosh, I don't remember what number of 63, 63 five. or 64. Five. Producer five. <laughs> oh, <this is> <laughs> says 64. Episode. I have 64, gonna, but it's oh, been 65. a hot one. That's five and Halloween is 64. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I think you skipped Halloween. Halloween was out of canon. It's not a chapter. Oh, okay. I okay, had six. I had the last then. episode of sixty-two. Okay. Oh well, here we go. Oh, We're going oh, with no. it. Sixty-four. Oh chapter. no! Yeah, no, no, no. yes, sixty-four. Yeah. Of children of <laughs> And this is a very suitable start because you all just cannonballed down a chute all of uh, snow. Not all. Uh, mm -hmm. That's. I'm sorry. Yes, Silas avoided that's the cannonball. Silas flew very gracefully. I just uh, got hit by a cannonball at the box. <laughs> Hi, my name is Maeve and I am uh, Cannonball. Uh, <laughs> I am Cannonball, yes. Uh, uh, I think a, a two of you, I believe at least uh, uh, um, Neb and was it Feruza flew yeah. way out into the onto the ice and I think dragged uh, Silas with you, right? Yes, because remember, yeah. Someone and Pivim yeah. is out yeah. there too. So. <laughs> Nev, yep. Nev so and Pivin were just like, him. nah, and then just went for it. Right. And I was like, I'm coming we're with down. We're together. So yeah. yes, you all flew out into the, the middle of this ice lake, um, just swirling and spiraling, you know, as a little starfish uh, on the ice until you came to a stop, oh, 150 feet away from where the others are standing on the bank. Um, as you come to a stop here, you can feel really how what a chill there is in the air. Um, again, you're not you're not feeling cold like you did in the snow or in the water, but everything around you has just this this crisp to it. Um, the air is still a little humid, 
Um, this fog is still swirling around. You notice it very attracted to each of you, especially as you're you're moving so fast, swirling out into this 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 frozen lake tundra. Um, how just attracted to you these particles of, of water in the air are. Ooh. Okay, that was super fun. I kind of want to do it again. <laughs> Are we on actual ice right now, you guys? Or is it just a slippery surface? Because I'm afraid to stand up. So Robin from far away is going, no, what? Is that you guys are way far away. And it's just her Who and her else Maeve. is on the bank with me? I just okay, Maeve, Maeve, I believe. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Everyone else is far out in the middle of the in the middle of this this lake, this frozen area. So Farooza, okay. as you say that, like, is this ice or what this is? And you kind of turn over. It's very slippery almost impossible to get your balance um and you look down and it doesn't look very thick whatever this is this ice or material beneath you is not you know you feel like you can see some little subtle movement maybe only three or four inches beneath this surface is on is she on her okay so she's on her like hands and knees sort of yeah and that's about like, as far as you could get here without a without a check maybe she immediately like, freezes you guys yeah. can anyone hear me i don't want to speak too loud this is not a solid surface be careful if you're going to stand up why? It's just not thick can, enough. Can you remind me of visibility? Sorry. What? Like, <laughs> oh, uh, yes. No, you can master. see. Yeah. Um, okay. This space is. Yes, this space is really wide open. Um, and you know, again, this the the fog is really attracted to each of you. So in a way, it actually kind of it gets denser around you and is thinner in between. So you can see Farouz out there, but you just sort of look at her. You see swirling you know, mist all around I'm assuming her. I'm she excited. let go of me at some point. Oh, I'm sorry. You're out there. Yes, you can see her. Yeah, you're, right. you're with her. Uh, Faruza, did you let go? Or am I like crying myself out of your hands right now? Because <laughs> last time you <laughs> oh, said right. that you were I holding on. And right. <laughs> oh, I mean, so you're wait, out there. She brought you out there. It's just whether, yeah. You, whether, yeah. You're, you've Are come you to a still holding a on is all now. I want to know. I think so. I think so. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So Ruth is just like, don't, I mean, I'm just afraid to move. Well, do, do you have to have a hold of me while this is going on? Like, I mean, yeah, I do so. is gonna, he, he's like just extending his hands down. Like, Oh, to me. I, yes. Okay. I'm going to float up and stay off of the surface. And then I'm going to try to at least, uh, serve Skate as me? a support of some sort where okay. hopefully i can pull up a little bit i'm not trying to carry her but but right okay. but just be a, a balancing bit. yeah okay this is good don't go too fast you're going too fast slow down uh, okay all right speed of thought you know how it goes okay. so yeah it's like one of those um uh, when you go skiing those little uh, uh mm -hmm. rope tug <laughs> <laughs> lips where you just hold on and it kind of pulls you up the slope that is that is silas is providing that service on this lake for Feruza. Uh, well where where are we going are we getting back together with everybody or are yeah. they they coming out here like where 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 are we going uh, i want to take a i'm sitting on the ice dog mm -hmm. in my lap wolf in my <laughs> lap and i just want to kind of Get, get a gander of everywhere and see yeah, give me a besides check, please. yeah mm -hmm. um what 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 else is going on here a dirty 20 yeah. a dirty nice. 20 nice so as you're looking up and and again you know you've you're you're really keyed into how excited this this mist is sort of swirling around you and your friends and again like Feruza, your eye drifts down to this thin sheet of ice or membrane. Underneath, it's almost like, like there's word. more of this fog, except it has a slightly pinkish hue. And you catch very briefly a darker shadow sweep across right beneath you. Okay. A little, 
wriggle of something large. Okay. <laughs> Ned might be um, slightly more cautious about large water creatures, but I don't know how much more. And there's no like obvious exits or tunnels or anything. It's just we're on a big ice skating rink in the middle of a, a <laughs> cave. I can I, I can hear you right. I can hear the we can hear each other from this part are we really far yeah away? i mean I, if yeah, you're okay. trying to communicate to the people on the bank you might have to be a little bit louder but okay yeah i i mean i'd probably call that out i'd probably be like Feroza, um yeah is, is the pink thing the thing that you were talking about wait, wait. silas slow down stop for a minute stop ned yeah, just I'm mentioned stopping. something really concerning it's slippery slippery Feroza. <laughs> Silas like, like I'm, I'm trying to say like are her feet slipping like is is the membrane uh, slippery it's really slippery so, I guess yeah <laughs> yes I'm having I'm getting I might be having some internet stuff I'm getting some yeah, from you guys I'm so sorry flow, but yes yeah. it is it is quite slippery um as you're, you know, kind of moving around in Feruza, you're holding on. Yeah. It is helping to kind of keep you upright. But every once in a while, whew, you know, there's that little your feet slip out from under you. And you, Neb, you know, if you're kind of staying low to the ground, because every time you try to stand up, there's a little, it's hard. It's going to take mm. some some work to kind of keep your footing. It's not a normal, surface. like, it's not like a normal, like, ice surface. It's a little bit slippier, sort of. It's or... more, it's more okay. like... Slippery Not slide. slippery like ice. Slippery like, like slime. Jelly. Like the surface of a slime. Balloon. Grease, something oh, like that. Grease. Like if grease any... were spread on top of ice. Ooh. Is there anything loose around, like loose objects, rocks, like anything like that around? No, this is a vast sort of open tundra. The the only sort of solid thing you can see is the bank where Maeve and Robin are now standing about 150 feet away. Um, you know that is this kind of crunchy, you know, bicarbonate, powdery, dust, sand kind of textured um, material. Does Ferusa have visible weaponry besides her axe on her, Ferusa? Um, you have like The only knives. visible weaponry is, is the axe, yeah. Is there I anything mean, sharp on Feruza's person? There's not a weapon. Yes, there is. What would that be? <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, necklace the necklace she's had since she's okay. a kid. Never mind, Silas <laughs> would not do that. Uh, he, he would know that that's special. Um, all right, so. Um, are you, what are you looking for, Silas? I want to puncture this thing to see oh. what's under there. Okay. What? Uh, whoa, whoa, Neb is going to reach into her bag and pull out her Swiss Army knife, the like mostly uh -huh. broken. Gonna grab it telekinetically if she's yeah. no! it. Wait no, until wait, you're wait. off of it. And then, uh, and then Silas is going to go. Uh, he's going to move it like I can move it. You know, 120 feet uh -huh. the other direction. Uh -huh. And then he is going to just stick, try to stick the knife in and start telekinetically sawing to see if he can. Okay. Like, first of all, puncture it and then cut a little hole in it. Gotcha. Um, Do you telepathically have a feel sense that um, goes with I, doing this? I would not say that he can feel anything. Okay. Um, so what you see as, as your telekinetic force uh, slams this Swiss army knife into the ground, uh, for lack of a better word here, um, it goes in really smooth, much easier than ice. It goes right up to the hilt immediately. Um, and even from that distance, you can see a little bubble. What color? Kind of God. begin to spew out. It has a little pinkish, reddish color to it. Um, and as it does the knife, and I know you're telepathically, you know, still holding it, as you try to sort of pull it towards you, it does slice. Um, very little resistance. Um, it just kind of, and as it does, it's almost like this, it spreads open like a wound. And as you bring it closer and closer to you, one little sort of tendril 
skinny finger of pinkish whitish flesh begins to kind of peek out of it another one on the other there's side there's something alive the down there we have got to get and it off starts of this to thing pull now. the membrane apart as more larger pieces of these oozy tentacles in a pinkish hue begin to that. kind of wriggle terrible. out from beneath like snakes <laughs> down below he's stabbed friends and enemies what did i say stabbed it <laughs> don't listen to the old lady <laughs> in, in fairness i just offered the knife this time okay wait, wait, you're, you are complicit neb you were throwing knives you and I mean, silas were throwing is knives. 120 feet away from us so we got plenty of room uh, as long as we don't roll you know three on initiatives so. yeah, don't 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 say things like that <laughs> oh, then i roll it all right, let's start with you, Feruza. Oh, me? Yeah. Initiative. Oh, I rolled a nine. Oh, I thought you, you oh, okay, never mind. I was like, I get to go first even though I rolled the lowest. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I want to know your up. initiative. Nine. <laughs> uh, Neb, your initiative. 15. A 15 for Neb. And Max and will Robin. go right after me. 23. Okay. Max, you said 23? Yeah. All right, 23 for Robin. Maeve. Uh, 13. 13 for Maeve and Silas. Dirty 20. Dirty 20 for Silas. All right, Robin, from far away on the bank. I mean, if this is, if they're 120 feet away from you, and let's say then this is another 100. So 240 feet away from you is where you can barely see this thing. You can kind of, you can hear the sort of splatter of that and, and see a little bit of these tendrils. And as the larger ones come out, even within this space, you can see them reaching up. Um, what would you like to do, Robin? How far are they from me? So they're about, we're going to go with they're 120 feet from you. And then this thing is another 200, another 120 feet. So 240. 90, 100, 100 120. Okay, great. <laughs> I had to do some math there. Uh, Robin <laughs> is instinctually going to run her entire movement 30 feet onto this slippery, uh, substance and then immediately vortex warp uh, okay Neb. before you do that i'd like a dexterity check please got it is it a check or a save acrobatics acrobatics unless i mean if you're dashing it can be a save but yeah acrobatics so uh, just your... what is my oh, oh dex right so no that's a 15. At the 15, you sprawl head over heels, Ooh. falling onto your, your stomach as your feet, you know, come up from you. You can, you know, slide. You get to about 15 feet, and that's as far as you go. No! And when you land, you feel on your belly a little bump <laughs> as whatever is underneath pushes this membrane up into your stomach. Uh, what else would you like to do, Robin? You're now prone. Well, I only made it 15 feet, right? You only made it 15 feet. Then I can use the rest of my movement to get back up. Yes, you can. Okay, so I, I will do that. Now I'm too far away to get to Neb. Uh, so, hmm. and then I can't can't walk up away. Oh, oh, wait, but I can use my movement to dash. Okay. Oh. I, can I need another dash to check. Okay, wait, wait, let me think about this. <laughs> wait, isn't that an <laughs> Wait, wait. Robin just <laughs> misty steps back to the bank. <laughs> All right. Hey. Back on solid ground. <laughs> All right. Safety. And, and I'll just kind of turn to Maeve and be like, it's a lot harder than it looks, okay? <laughs> I wasn't so judging. Maeve, Maeve, like, get up. <laughs> so, it's Robin also a lot softer than it looks, too. <laughs> Robin jumped off the edge, ran, fell back forward stood up and went nope and out of existence to appear right back where this she started this has to be the biggest waste Anything of else like i've you. ever done because <laughs> not only did i not get anywhere but i wasted a spell <laughs> fantastic okay no that's it. that's it that's it all right silas you're 120 feet out you're holding on to feruza's arm as you float above the surface and you see whatever this tentacled pink oozy fleshy creature is that's coming out through the membrane of the the ice below you uh what would you like to do i am going to um kind of you know look down for just just be still for a second and clinch up and uh silas is gonna duck down 
and go under her arms and basically grab her on the shoulder and start to fly towards Neb. Okay. And then I am going to scoop Neb with the other arm. And oh. as I do this, I am going to say, need you to get small, Neb. And I'm going to uh, fly fly toward the bank, uh, trying to carry oh. both of them. Okay. Well, and I've also got my wolf in my hands. So when you say yes. I need to get small, it's like, oh, well, we're well, going to have to switch who you're carrying then. Whatever that means. Uh, I, I just say get, need you to get small. And then I am going to um, also use a bonus action to uh, uh, to, to dash um, with, a, uh, with a spell. Gotcha. Let's start with an athletics check, or at least a strength check, to see yeah. if you can athletics. actually hold both of them while you do this. <laughs> Five people. Ooh, that's nice. Go with athletics. So, I'm okay with that. Let's mm. see. Um, that is going to be... Um, that is a 26. Oh! Woo! What? <laughs> Somehow. Nice. Like a, a, like a mother lifting a truck off her baby. <laughs> you grab... <laughs> Neb and Feruza. Well, Neb and... cannot weigh that much, right? <laughs> Neb no, is kind of small, no. right? These are two fully grown people uh, that you hoist up into the air as you are flying and begin to fly uh, in that direction. Now, uh, you can go how far with your dash? Um, I can uh, I can go 30 and then another 30. So 60. Okay, 60. 60. So you're about Ooh. halfway back to the bank. Anything else, Silas? Uh, that's it. Okay. As you are flying in that direction, this crack, this wound in the membrane below you follows as it kind of tracks your direction as you fly and look back behind you and can see it chasing you as arms begin to pull out, you know, endless amounts. You can't even count how many of these little tentacles are just reaching up. Um, Pivum was with you, Neb, yes? Yes. Yeah, we both went. How did you account for that, Silas? I I probably wouldn't have done it if I if I'd have remembered. Was correctly. Pivum still back there? Um Yeah. Also him? Neb probably wouldn't have left P Pivum behind. So if you had started coming for us, uh I Neb would have been like, We got this. I mean, go, how, go, 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 go. How, how much does Pivum weigh? Pivot he does also not weigh very much. Play. I'm I'm willing to say that we could do a strength check for Neb to hold on to Pivum oh, and drag well, him along. What what I was also going to say is that with yes. Pivum, um, I as long does does he weigh less than sixty pounds? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm just going to telekinetically bring. Him. <laughs> oh, and you can do that with what you're you have left. Okay. Whoa. Now, I mean, this is not a permanent situation <laughs> for this turn. Yes. So, Pivim is coming along with you, floating, uh, <laughs> as he's kind of kicking in the air, a little unsure of what's holding him. And then, uh, yeah, you know, if if I saw, uh, like, I told Theresa to clinch up, I asked uh, Neb to get small, yes. and then mm -hmm. I say, "Crash! It's time to fly." <laughs> All aboard the USS Silas. He's he's kicking his oh boy, this is a strange feeling, he says as he's kind of trying to figure out, out where his center of balance is as, as you're floating him around because he doesn't know where he's being held. Maybe you've got him by his overalls or something like that. Um I mean, as he flies forward. Right in the midsection, you know, like kind of wrap around right in the midsection. Um in this moment. As you three are flying, three of these, I guess four or five practically, of these tentacles, these oozy sort of fleshy limbs fly out towards you. Um, the first one is going to go towards Pivum. Oh. Um, and it is going to hit. The second one is going to fly out towards Silas. That is a 27 to hit. Silvery oh, that'll hit Silas. The third oh. one is going to head out with a 24 to hit Neb. Mm -hmm. oh my God, all right, all them. three are going to hit. Hope, or, uh, Robin, did you Silvery yeah. Barb's the one on? Yeah. Uh, if I can, oh. sil Silvery Barb's the one on Silas because he's holding everyone. Okay. So. Okay. okay. 
So we, they roll again? Yes. That is going to be a 26 to hit. <laughs> I tried, uh, but I'm going to give the advantage On Silas, to... still good, yes? Uh, it definitely hits, yes. I'll give the advantage to Neb. Yeah. No, I think no, Silas no, is that, Silas, us. that's what I meant. Yeah, he's yeah. holding yeah. Yeah. Silas. Neb Silas Silas. is holding all of us. <laughs> Silas, okay. Um, <laughs> Silas. You are going to take twenty-three acid damage as this tentacle whips into your body. Um, it sears across your midsection as you feel it sort of a, a dig into your flesh as it then whips back, getting ready for another attack. Neb, you are going to take. Twenty-two acid damage as this wraps around your ankle uh, as you're being held by Silas again, kind of gripping onto your leg and then releasing as that acid damage uh, uh, sinks into your skin. And finally, Pivim. Also, twenty-two for Pivim. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, Neb, Neb hugs Max a little bit tighter and does yes. manage to maintain concentration. So Max does not leave. Okay. Ah, Fantastic. acid again on the, on the same leg too. Why that leg? <laughs> <laughs> they can sense it. Um, as all three of these then recoil back into the air, flapping wildly, and you can see the acid sort of spitting off of them as they they whip around uh, in this this spot here. That's going to be its turn, Pivim's turn. Oh boy, no. um, Pivim. Boy, ah. Uh, I always forget to pull up his thing, but I'm just going to try to come up with what I think he could do here. Um, Pivim is is capable of turning into a bird, so Pivim is going to do that. <laughs> a very small I bird. Wanted. Yeah, very small bird. Pivim's going to turn into a tiny little robin. Aww. A very small bird. He's going to turn into a tiny little little robin. Um, uh, you know, and it's just gonna, you know, escape from your your grip, Silas, and fly, flitter up into the air, and try to fly as fast as he can to go and land on uh, Hope's shoulder. Hope on uh, land on uh, Robin's shoulder, uh, way back at the other edge, um, uh, and just sort of settles down on Robin's shoulder, looking back, and you know, kind of trying to 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 whistle to the rest of you to hurry up and follow um neb what would you like to do i'm going to hold max out to feruza as we're still kind of both of us are like dangling in in silas's arms uh <laughs> take max and as soon as feruza grabs max um neb just comes along for the ride as her entire body goes whoop, into that tiny little blue black rat that she turns into when she decides to, because Silas said, get small. So Feruza, you are now holding a small wolf with an even smaller rat riding <laughs> right on top of, right on top you of him. You are muted, Feruza, just so you know. But your facial expressions are amazing. <laughs> yes. You're still <laughs> muted. You're still muted. <laughs> I was proud. Uh, yeah, but she's just sort of skating along, I guess, because Silas has her under their arms, I guess. Me under the arms? Is that what you had, Silas? <laughs> that was not so. Oh. He, he's just, he's got, uh, yeah, Silas has, has you. On his shoulder. Oh, okay. So she's, yeah, she's just holding on, and she's in her head going, I'm holding on to a wolf and a rat, a rat and a wolf and a wolf and a rat and an owl and a cow. What's going on here? It's just <laughs> trying to I can only on turn into the, the rat. And it, it, <laughs> Neb is just now thinking, I can turn into the cow. I have to turn, you know, no. worry about the owl. So, but yeah, that's what she's gonna do and hold on tight. Okay. Um, and, and that's all you're saying. Maeve, up yeah. to you on the bank. Uh, do, uh, are any of them gripped 
currently no nobody's gripped. none of these stayed gripped yes it just sort of slapped them and then went back to wildly flapping around. uh i will uh how far does it look like they can reach um how far up were you flying adam i didn't i should have asked you that but uh, i mean in order to get the 30 feet like i would have been fairly close to the surface i was trying to go that's what i figured mm -hmm. so you know I mean, you've I'm only about to go up but... you're about to go up okay that's what i figured um so you know i think he was only five ten feet above the surface and it easily reached them there um you don't have a sense beyond that it hasn't sort of shown you any further reach than that all right i will point at it and and just say no and i will i will know at it trying to get it to leave you will know at it i will know at it um know at it uh so uh to two uh whooshes of force head towards it first one is a 21 second one is uh 21 will hit 24. okay that'll both hit that and do i get anything else on here So 20 points total. Uh, 20 of, points of damage for us. As this, these, got it? As these, these bolts of force come shooting towards it, you, you've aimed closer to the base where they're a little bit thicker and you're able to really strike them well. And they start flapping and flipping around even more intensely um, as they take this hit. Uh, anything else you want to do, Maeve? Uh, no, I think I'm. We're currently probably safer on the bank. Uh, do they seem to retract at all into the, into the? Uh, um, yeah, memory? I mean there are several of these things, and some of them come out and then go back, and others only come out a little bit and then come back. Yeah, there's. I mean, but it doesn't seem like um like an anemone where it sort of will go back in. No, it has more of okay. a tentacle quality to it okay. than, than an anemone. Um then i guess the other thing i would love to do if i can is is there anything else i'm noticing in this room in this, in this space? area yeah uh, you can you can give a perception check if you'd like okay 19. 19. um even though you are on the solid ground and you can feel that beneath your feet you know it has that squishy cushy feel we were talking about but you you don't feel like you you could fall through it. But as you're looking at this this ice that felt seemed pretty you know solid and um, firm, as you're looking at it now, you can see it undulating a little bit with the movement of whatever is underneath it. That whatever that kind of flat surface was. Um, you know, it was only that way because whatever was beneath it was not applying pressure. And now with pressure, you can see it is a much more malleable surface than you thought it was. And it seems to be everywhere all at once, um, except of course, on this bank where you are standing. But there are no um, other features. May I follow a thought process that we were starting on earlier and didn't get a chance to sort of follow through on? And I know we're in combat, but this is sort of what's running through my head as we're standing here, because now we're seeing more of, of more evidence right. towards ideas. Um, I guess I can, I can call it out. Remember how we were talking about a cell and the cells and the creatures? Silas, you were sleeping. You're, you're right. You're, uh, and Fyru Firuz is in a cone of silence, which doesn't exist. I remember, I'm sorry. I, I, I remember, Maeve, I remember. What? Is this possibly part of that? Oh, no. Are we in Does that? No, we, it would be, we probably would need to. And then Maeve realizes that she's like talking about paying attention in biology and stops talking. <laughs> I feel like that's information somebody should have shared with me when I woke up. Remember how I tried to stay on what happened and you cut me off. That's what happens. 
Don't and, let me cut you off like that. Know. Meanwhile, oh Silas is being slapped by whatever is coming out of this uh, cell. Are you saying we're supposed to sing? I think we went down someone's throat, Robin. <gasps> Maybe that was just a bad dream. I also I dreamed that, of the that, wind. And that's it for my Silas, answer. don't say a word. What? <laughs> Is that the end of your turn, Maeve? That's it for me, yeah. Okay. Um, while you are finishing that, uh, and Silas, you're looking back towards her and are saying, you know, what? Someone sort of shared that with me. A burp of acid or fluid flies up out of this, you know, wound, this split in the membrane below you, splattering you. Um, Hold on. Oh I'd like you to make you and Feruza to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Uh oh. This one isn't that good for me. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> and actually, yes, no, you and dexterity. Okay, good. You and Feruza. I'm All right. What do we got, mm -hmm. Silas? Uh, I got a 19. 19 for Silas. Oh. What'd you get, Feruza? 13. Okay. Silas. You're able to somehow avoid some of this, but in your avoidance as the, of it, as this happens, though, yes, um, I am putting up one of my abilities. I'm putting up a, a shield, telekinetic okay. shield, and if there's half damage here, I take none. Uh, and, there is no half damage. Okay. You're oh, you're good if, in this okay. in this and, sense uh, here. If there is any other kind of effect like mm -hmm. that to Feruza, I extend that. Um, can like can you return that? Yes, yes, a that's what the ability allows me. To okay, do, so. okay. Um, so there is damage. She will take none of it? Is that what you're saying? Uh, well, if she succeeded on the save or not. She did not succeed on the save. save. Yeah, then gotcha. she would take half damage. If okay. there's half damage allowed on a success, she would take half damage. There is not half damage allowed on a success. Okay, yeah. I, I've got a wonky question. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. So... Neb has this ability that lets her help or hinder people. <laughs> I don't see anything in it that says that I have to be in human form to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, and, and I rolled, I'm wheel for today so I can help. So, okay. uh, so if you'll let me still do it, um, Feruza, you'll hear the little rat look up at you and, and, <laughs> and for some reason, it seems like a good idea, even though you don't okay. know. Uh, and so you can now add a D6 to that roll. Okay, give it a shot, Veruza. Add a D6 to your 15. Sorry, I was not hey, quicker on that. You. I was desperately trying to see if I could even do that. I got a 6 for the first time ever. Hey, I had a 13, 13 plus a 6. <laughs> Thank you, Die Hard Dice. Thank you. Sometimes you come through for me. So... <laughs> With the help of Silas and this little rat as it squeaks at you, you are just able to see this splatter of ooze and acid and, and fluid um, as it burps out of this uh, membrane below. Um, and somehow with the movements, the dance of Silas and Feruza, you together, you're able to just sort of fend it off. And where it does land, it doesn't isn't able to penetrate. You get the weaker sections <sighs> of it. Um, that's a uh, no, no. Feruza up to you. Does it? It's does it smell weird or just feels? Are we? I just see it. It just looks gross, right? It's just sort of viscousness. Uh, it's yes. It looks. It look has a bile-ish. I'll give you that. It has a little bile kind of kind of scent to it. We have to get out of here. Silas, can you hear me? Are you listening to me? We have to get out of here. Whatever I this is, we have to get out of here. Man. <laughs> talking in your ear incessantly you have to get out of here um i'm currently holding two creatures i'm slung over silas's shoulder yes. so there is a limited amount of things that i'm going to attempt. fireman style <laughs> um we're trying to get to the bank correct where it's at least safe and whatever we're assuming would be more solid how She's far are we out. at this I'm moment? Like, of course we're going to the bank. Yes, we're going to the bank. <laughs> you are 60 feet away from the bank. bank. What'd you say? 60 feet. Like, 
How far? How far? You are, are sixty we... feet from the bank. From the bank. Oh, sixty. Okay, feet. we're sixty feet from the bank. <laughs> okay, so I'm 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 really strong, and I have the ability to throw things now. Now, hear me out. You do. I'm not saying I would actually attempt, <laughs> but I'm saying maybe I attempt to throw them. I I will say mm-hmm. out of play. Lauren is 100% for this. In play, <laughs> Neb is 100% for this. You know this for a fact, absolutely. I'm stronger now. I have the ability to throw. My reach is longer for whatever reason. I have better reach. So you you would like to throw? Like, I, yeah, I see the slime the puppy and the and rat. I realize that it's. I want to. I want to like get them out of the way because if anything's gonna hit anyone, it'll hit me or hit Silas. We're strong kind of So throwing them, and you're gonna attempt to throw them 60 feet. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh what are you um, laughing at, Silas? <laughs> I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think. Because it was giant Shabak, I can throw without actually injuring the things I throw, I think. Okay. That's good Neb to is going to nestle down into the wolf's fur, hold on with everything she can. Like like ratatouille. <laughs> it's pretty much, pretty much. And then, um... Because she's still concentrating on the spell, she'll be thinking to Max, like, all right, I don't know how she does the fastball special thing, but just be ready. I've never done this before. I've never thrown a friend anywhere before. You threw Pim on that just... once, but you did not hear me say that. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but okay, you, see, you see Neb Jesus get ready, at least. <laughs> here, you hear Faruza like sort of mumbling, like maybe I can, because the this, this splash came up and she realizes yes. that if, if they hit again, it's gonna be bad because she might drop them or yes. So I'm wondering how I do this because I've never actually done this before. This is gonna any... be an athletics check. You're throwing a volleyball <laughs> shaped like a dog. Two friends, a, a rat riding a dog. Uh, Writing up that book. Okay, this is a children's book somewhere. It, yeah. It could be a children's book somewhere. It could, it might end up a horror film as well. Children's we will book for grown ups. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that hard, guys? Is that hard, guys? Okay. I'm nervous because they're my friends. Plus 19? It was 13. 19. Was yeah, because I have a six in athletics. Whoa. You raise them above your head and just like a proper volleyball, you know, hand overhead sort of toss through the air. Um, gosh, 60 feet. <laughs> no, how to make it like, I mean, I think, I think what I'm going to give you, you get them like 30 feet and then mm-hmm. they slide. So they land, you're able to do it, and they land in a way that they don't get hurt based on your ability. Um, and then they slide 15 feet. So they are now uh, 15 feet. Of. Yeah, 15 <laughs> feet thought. from the bank, but significantly closer than they were before. Okay, now, Silas, you have to get us out of here. Well, okay, so right now, I'm just, I'm, so after I did that, I'm still on Silas. I'm action. Bonus action. She just looks back at that thing and goes, rage. That's it. Okay. I'm going to stay put, though. <laughs> you're staying put. You're not moving. You're going to let Silas continue yeah, to be Yeah, I your... figure if, if okay. anything happens, me and Silas can, you know. Okay. There. Okay. Sounds good, because now, at the end of your turn, another one of these tenderly limb-like legs flies up towards you. Ooh, I have a 30 to hit you, oh, Teresa. Oh, jeez. Who does that hit? <laughs> How do you feel about that? It's great, Deb. It's wonderful. I was just like rubbing it. <laughs> How do you like them apples? It's lovely. It's like... <laughs> 23 points of acid damage for you, Feruza. Thank you. Thank you very much. Been great. Been lovely. 23 points. Okay, yeah. I'm still here, but that's Thank you for person. throwing us. All right. That would have been bad if we were there. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, good. Um, At least it wasn't an overhand toss. It would have splat, twenty, then slid the rest of the thirty. It feet. wouldn't have been the first time uh, Neb as a rat has been thrown against a wall. Oh, that's right. That's, <laughs> that's right. true. I forgot about that. 
So, Robin, <laughs> on your side of it, Pivim alights on your shoulder as you look forward and you see Feruza just overhand <laughs> throw the puppy and, and the rat forward, which land about halfway and then skid towards you, stopping about 15 feet in front of you. As just as she lets go, another one of these tentacles comes up and <laughs> wraps around her midsection. <sighs> She lets out a little scream as she feels that sear away at her flesh. You can even sort of see a little steam release as it whips itself back off of her body. Um, what would you like to do? Um, would Robin get the idea that this is an entity or that this feels like many entities? Hard to say. Okay, fair. Without fair. a check, I think you've uh, got the information you've got. Either way, Robin's going to try this. Um, okay. Robin's going to say, whoa, now, let's all just slow down here. And she's going to cast slow on this creature. Okay. Or, or, if it's, or if it's multiple creatures, I can choose up to six. Gotcha. So on, on the eruption of these tentacles beneath Silas and Feruza. Correct. Okay. So I can get I can get up to six creatures within a 40 foot range. If it's just one creature, that's kind of what I'm banking on. But mm -hmm. um yes, I'm I'm whatever's attacking is what I'm gonna uh, do. So uh let me know if you need to know all of the things that happen. Uh yes. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> eruption of tentacles is a phrase I never need to hear again in my eruption of tentacles. <laughs> A uh, of fleshy appendages. Mm -hmm. Pink, yeah. pink fleshy appendages. <laughs> pink fleshy appendages. Oh boy. Okay, I lost it. Oh Lost. no, where did it go? It's gone. Uh, uh, fleshy. Yeah. I'm just okay. trying to think of any other word we can. The Moist. affected acidic, acidic. Uh, uh, it's terrible. It's yeah, just sorry, really, ahead. really terrible. The worst the children's so. book. The worst. The worst children's <laughs> book. <laughs> Um, okay, the affected target speed the is how children's book ever. <laughs> okay. All right, Rob. Tar target speed is halved. It takes okay. a negative two penalty to AC and dexterity saving throws. Mm. It can't use reactions. Mm -hmm. On its turn, it can either use an action, a bonus action, but not both. Okay. Regardless of the creature's ability or magic items, it can't take more than one melee or range attack during its turn. Okay, and this is on the creature or on the area? It's on a creature. On a creature, and there's no save. Oh, yep, yeah, there's a wisdom save. There we go, wisdom save. Uh, mm -hmm. Fantastic, it doesn't work. Oh. <sighs> you cast it and you can feel the energy of your magic, um, you know, uh, 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 reach out towards this thing. And as it does, it's just as almost like you almost hear Maeve's voice, but it's corrupted and it goes, no. Uh, and it just slams your magic, uh, just absolutely crushes it. All right, tried to bargain with it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that'll be my turn. Okay, fantastic. Let's do a Silas. Silas is going to, uh, so 60 feet away from the bank at this point. So uh, he's going to continue to fly with Feruza uh, straight yes. forward the 60 feet. Um, as he is going, i um, going to use the, um, okay. so that, that is a movement and the action to dash. And then I'm going to use my bonus action this time um, as I am going to collect. So you see some green energy uh, kind of radiate out of the ring and mm -hmm. uh, it it looks like a uh, net like a butterfly catching net for just a okay. second and i'm just going to collect neb and uh and the dog gotcha um, as as we make it to the bank and then i'm going to uh still not quite land because silas doesn't really land anymore gotcha um, but, but he gets close to the ground and kind of gets into a stance and said uh yeah i mean maybe i shouldn't have poked it Sorry about that, everyone. Is that the end of your turn? Yep. At the end of your turn, as you land on the bank, or not land on the bank, but you kind of, you know, arrive at the bank and you drop your charges and you make your apologies, 
another one of these tentacles bursts up through this wound that has followed you this way easily keeping pace and just comes to try to slap at you yes go ahead real quick so is this so you're saying the wound is following is it gashing like yes. it's like opening the membrane okay yes the it. the the opening the cut that you made has just continued to split and follow you in the direction that, that you have that's gone that's all just um, trying to uh you know absolve yes. my conscience because if it's doing it to itself it means i didn't hurt it. oh <laughs> yeah i mean you started it but it is it is continuing to break open this wound as it follows you uh, another one of these arms sneaks out um gosh i'm rolling nicely that's a 27 to hit to hit who? Uh, Silas. It, that it hit hit Silas. Yeah. Oh, okay. Silas. Yes, yes. Yeah, 27. Fantastic. <laughs> 17 acid damage. <sighs> you still alive? Yep. Yes. Might be lagging okay. out a little bit. Yeah. It slaps <laughs> at you in the air again as you kind of, as you kind of, you know, feel the pain of this searing attack on your back, and then it sort of peels itself away. And those of you watching in horror from the other their side can see bits of Silas's clothing and back as it's stuck to the side of the tentacle as it just pulls itself off of Silas, you know, makes some kind of pained noise as his back is sort of retched open. Um, At least it's not it hitting the shoes. <laughs> Cruz are just as it, in your ear. As it does, <laughs> Maeve, as you're keeping a close eye on the wounds that you made, those scars just disappear before your eyes. All right, it's gonna do a couple more things now. Um, as it stands there on the side and looks at all of you right there on the bank, it opens another burp and just splatters the entire bank. And this, this splatter flies, you know, at least 30 feet covering all of you. Everyone, please make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. Let's start with Max. Oh, no. What? All right, just keep in mind, anyone who makes this save, you are within five feet of me. Okay. So, uh, you get evasion, proved evasion. Advantage? No, telekinetically. No, no oh. not advantage. It just means if you oh. succeed at the save, you take yeah. no damage. Oh. If you fail at the save, you only take half damage. Oh, okay. okay. It's good to know. If you're Thank within you. five feet of me, and I definitely landed in the middle of all, all right. of you. <laughs> well, you guys, we're going to say you're all in a little clump. You can be all be within five feet of each other. I'll allow it. Oh, frick. No, <laughs> we're... All right, security saving throws. Let's start with Robin. Eight. Eight. Silas. Um, let's say 23. Did you hear me? Sorry. I feel like I'm laughing. Um, yeah, 23. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're all we're all a little bit. Pivim. Ooh, Pivim is a 13. Mm. Uh Neb and Max. A three and a nine. Maeve. Dirty 20. 20 for Ruza. Four. Four. <laughs> okay. Everyone but Silas. <laughs> 20 didn't dodge it? Nope. Oh, we're out of our depths here. Yeah. So just a reminder, um, every, whatever there. this is, it will be halved. Okay. For everyone that failed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And she's still rolling. <laughs> 41. Yeah, we're all done. Acid damage. Okay. Thank goodness for having. Uh, oh, yeah. We needed need that half. half. We needed that half. Couldn't have it. <laughs> okay. So, um, so 20. 20 damage. Okay. Yo. Yeah, because if it's so half. Be, oh. No, that yeah, so would be 20 if you, if you are having it. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh boy. Yeah. Pivim immediately becomes Pivim again on the ground mm. and he looks bad. Uh, Neb immediately becomes Neb again and looks unconscious. And Max goes poof. 
Okay. Yeah. Are you unconscious? Never. You just look like you're getting there. No, no, you I'm unconscious. unconscious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I look unconscious because of we're in bad shape. <laughs> we, are, we are collectively in a bad And Silas, shape. you are you are unconscious. No, 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 no. I, All no, right. I'm so we not. have. Uh, so Max is gone. Max is gone. Oh, you're yeah. not. No, I. Okay. Sorry, I was. I was. Speaking Max is for gone. Here. Neb is unconscious. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Is anyone um, else unconscious? Kibim is not unconscious, but he looks bad. Like this, this slime that, that landed on him has just—you can still see it. He's smoking and he's shivering and shaking. Um, you know, a, a, as it continues to sear through his skin. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> it is now Pivim's turn. Yeah. Okay. Pivim is going to turn around and, oh, shoot, I put that away. I can't even look it up. Uh, <laughs> that was so, so silly. I didn't give myself. Who has Thunderwave? I do. And can look it up for I me. I do. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, just tell me, tell me, um, uh, damage and, and the deck save, or I know his numbers, but what it's a uh, deck save or a con save? It's a con save. Con um, save. are you doing it at space level? Damn it, he makes it. Oh, oh, uh, Thunder Wave does have half damage. Uh, it doesn't matter, it saved. Okay, good. Does have half, it does have half damage. So, if it's, uh, yeah. their base, if it's a uh, first level Thunder Wave, then it's 2d8 uh, okay. damage, but halved. Um, it doesn't matter. Oh. I'm just double checking this. Okay, no, it'll take the half. All right, so you said uh, eights, d eights. Uh, yeah, two d eight is the full damage, and then half of that. Okay. Um, uh, Pivim, as he falls to the ground, shivering and shaking in so much pain, uh, barely any of his his own skin left available to see. It's all kind of pussy and oozy. Turns and looks towards it and just weakly. As this oh. burst of energy shoots out of his body towards this creature, it slams into it. Now, again, its gelatinous sort of oozy existence doesn't seem to take as much uh, damage from it as it would, but it does kind of shiver and shake. Maybe one or two of these tentacles pull back inside of itself as Pivim almost is pushed back five feet of his own, you know, from his own force of power on this slick surface. However, immediately after that, another one of these oh. tentacles... Oh lashes out hitting him easily i mean it's not even gonna matter pivim goes off. unconscious oh. with that hit one little pff, and it slaps him in the ground as that happens it wraps around his body and begins oh, to no. pull him towards it um that is going to be the end of pivim's turn neb please make it a death saving throw mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. That's a natural one. <laughs> no! That is two <laughs> negatives. For the you. dice doesn't I'm like so us. Sorry, Neb. We are off to Maeve. Uh, how far is Neb from me? Can I run over and, and try and stabilize her? Five feet. Touch her. She can, you can just yeah, reach can, over and I, touch her. I get over there and start trying to, to tend to her. You can do a medicine check? Sure. Okay, give me a medicine check, please. It's a 10. Unfortunately, you are unable to revive her in this moment. Anything else you'd like to do, Maeve? But thanks for trying. I put... Mm. I don't mm. I don't know if this will work um, wait Silas you're still up and, and oh no you're not what? no I'm up he's, a... <laughs> he's awake <laughs> he's just not happy about it <laughs> I'm gonna I don't 
I don't know how to. I don't know what else to do here. I'm. I'm. I know. I'm going to take my ring. I'm going to put it on her, and I'm going to say pulsar. <gasps> oh. I don't know if it will work. I I don't know if it has to be the person who's wearing it. I don't know, but I'm hoping that whoever's there can help take care of her. So, because I know she's in bad shape, and I I can't do anything else. Give me a just a a, a charisma check, please. Just a flat just a charisma. Just flat check. charisma. Mm -hmm. Uh, 19. 19. Nice. Maeve, you throw yourself on top of Neb and attempt to administer some kind of first aid medicine, but you're unable to stabilize her. And in this desperate moment, you pull your ring off your finger and place it on Neb as you just blurt out the word pulsar, hoping that this will work. Um, with every ounce of your being wanting it to work. Unfortunately, in this moment, she just sits where she is with your wearing on her finger as the emotion begins to course through you. It was a really cool idea though. It was, yeah. That was a super cool idea. Is that all me? That's it. As you feel this emotion course through, another one of these tentacles reaches up towards you, Feruza. One little inky piece. That is a 25 to hit you. No, it hits. It doesn't hit? Oh, it does hit. Mm. <laughs> it's, yeah. Oh, Even it with my okay. little present. Twenty poison damage. But this one is special. Why? This time it stays for a second and little pustules on the end squirt a slimy ooze out of their ends all over uh, your arm where it touched you. Um, as it begins to seep into your body, it takes on this, this poisoning effect and you find that indeed you are poisoned in this oh, no. moment. Uh, you can see this, this sickly yellow pinkish goo just sitting on your arm like, like snot uh, as you just sort of feel that, that poison dig into your pores. Uh, and that is the end there. Feruza, it is now your turn. Oh no, if I got 20 Looking around, down. Let's, I'm gonna give you just a picture here as we're going. Looking okay. around, Neb is lying on the ground, dying. Yeah. Uh, uh, Maeve has thrown herself on top, trying to do whatever she can. Uh, Pivim has, is being you know, pulled by this one tentacle back towards the, yeah. the, the ice, the membrane. Robin is standing there, sort of, you know, with a, trying to figure out what to do <laughs> next. Silas is in the same boat. Everyone is looking in terrible condition. Uh, mm -hmm. You have just been slimed. What would you yeah. like to do? If I'm slimed at 21, wait, do I still get half with you, Silas? Or only, it only happens once? It's only once? on saving throw. Oh, it's only on deck saving throw. Right. Okay, yeah, then as soon as the slime hits, it just starts traveling into her system. And she's just going to feel like something disgusting is just in her and everything's just going to go black. Because I'm unconscious. I'm down, yeah. Oh. <laughs> As Feruza falls to the ground, unconscious. Mm -hmm. Robin. Uh -huh. Robin, um, um, everything going on, she just, she sees Pivim and she knows she can help at least get Pivim. Uh, Pivim? Come back to me, come back to us, and uh, Vortex Warp to get it back. Pivot so disappears. Yes, perfect. And lands. Where do you want him? 
in my arms <laughs> in your arms comes back to you and he is still unconscious oh um mm -hmm. but you are holding him now in your arms um anything else robin uh i'm looking for an exit <laughs> there is just running back up the bank or out onto the membrane that's about it um all right i'm gonna hold on to pivum and i'm gonna drop to my knees i'm just gonna have one hand on the back of mave as mave is on the, I'm just, we're just kind of kind of just consoling at this moment and that's it you all watch as robin drops to her knees holding the semi-lifeless body of Piven in her arms as one shaky hand reaches out on your shoulder, Maeve, as you are crouched over Neb, who is also unconscious. Feruza having fallen to the ground next to her. Silas floating above all of this watching. What would you like to do? I am going to... Um, so for, from where I am, I am going to mm -hmm. uh, float up, um, and I am basically, you know, at least thirty feet, trying to see if it's going to outrange whatever this thing is, and then um, yes. I'm going, and then I am going to say, um, I don't know why everybody is taking a nap during a time like this, and, and whatever it is, the words are laced with something, um, and uh, you know, kind mm. of. Uh, you know, high school coach, uh, you know, kind of a weird motivation that shouldn't motivate you, but, but it does a little bit. Um, and um, that is um, casting Beacon of Hope. Okay. And then I am going to, um, after that, I'm going to say, especially you, Neb, you've got to get up because you're the only other one that has any of these uh, healing things. And as I say those words, um, healing word to Neb, and that is going to restore the maximum number of uh, hit points there. So that's going to be uh, nine hit points. And, um, and then I am going to, uh, you know, with, uh, again, with that movement 30 feet up, mm -hmm. I am trying to, with the rest of, of the turn, because I don't have any other real options here, I'm going to try to see if I can survey, you know, 30 feet up to see if there are any other you know, landmarks, I understand I might not get that this turn, but I'm, I'm just trying to scout to see <laughs> if, um, if, if there's any other uh, point of exit or anything uh, in this place. Okay. Uh, what does Beacon of Hope do for everyone? Um, it is going to, um, for the next minute, uh, you will have advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws. Okay. Um, and any healing is going to restore the maximum number of yeah. Okay. Um, you float up with a cursory quick glance around. From this height, all you can see is that this gash that, that has been created in this membrane, this splitting open, uh, coiling back on itself. From this bird's eye view, you look down at your small party of vulnerable children of Erte, just barely holding on to life on the bank, and you see just endless squiggly little tentacles reaching up like cilia out of this gash. And as it splits further apart, you can see, however, open space beneath it and in between. That's all I'm going to give you on your turn Can you here. clarify that last comment? In between what? Meaning that in between these cilia, these little, you know, tentacles, appendages, limbs that are, you know, sort of, you know, sprouting out of this, this gash. Um, You're saying that between those down into the gash, I can see space. You can see space between them as they part pulling open this 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 opening. Um, it is not w sort of one fleshy piece beneath. There seem to be gaps in between them Got it. and space oh. beneath. Okay. All right. And, is, and it's one other thing, just because I feel like yes. I would see it from this point. How far yes. has the gash um, advanced toward the bank? 
like uh is is the gash all the way up to the bank right now? there yes okay got it oh yes it absolutely is yep um cool one arm tentacle reaches forwards towards Feruza. you can't avoid it no it grabs onto you you take a death saving throw failure death okay. and it begins to pull you in towards itself does anyone have a reaction they want to use um i mean i've got silvery barbs i don't know if it'll help in this instance it wasn't it didn't seem like a like a roll it's not a saving okay. throw no yeah. all right or well i mean you, you i mean i can roll it again but she's she's lifeless so oh I yeah that's true yeah. Matter. Yeah. yeah um or you know she can't she can't avoid it so mm -hmm. um yeah it grabs you and begins to pull you inside in fact the rest of you watch as her lifeless body her arms falling behind her uh is pulled into this cut in the earth oh yeah disappears down below Feruza will come back to you in a moment yeah. another arm reaches out this time it's gonna go for oh Maeve you're right there oh maybe not this will be a 17 to hit uh I am going to, uh, as a reaction, cast, all of a sudden there's the, the duplicate that yep. sort of knocks that starry duplicate. Uh, so that will miss. Okay, that misses. A third arm reaches out this one towards Neb. I'm oh. on top of Neb if that makes a difference. All right, I'll go for Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, yeah, that was not fair. what I was trying to that's do. That's a 17. <sighs> Is this 17 to hit you? Uh, that matches. That matches. All right. Um, here we go. Twenty-two poison damage. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Acid. Acid damage. Twenty-two Robin acid. Falls down, still holding Pivim in her arms. As you fall down, holding Pivim in your arms, it holds on. And also pulls you in as you go the same way of Feruza, you and Pivim disappearing into the pink cilia, uh, you know, protruding from this hole in the earth. That is the end of its turn. Pivim fails a death saving throw. Pivim would Neb. get advantage on that. You would get advantage on that? All right, let's try. He still fails. Neb, it is you and Maeve on the banks. Silas is floating 30 feet ahead of you as you've just watched Robin and Pivim and Feruza pulled into the guts of this earth. So with grogginess and hearing Silas talking about healing and then seeing all that happen, real quick question. Yeah. Is it water in there or is it just pink goo how would i describe this um it looks like pepto bismol <laughs> yum that is able to kind of form into these tentacles almost like droplets or mm. or strings that come right. out and grab you. Then I don't think what she wanted to do will work. Okay, so the first thing she's gonna do is be like, aha, Maeve, hold still for a second. And she's gonna grab the her stone out of her pocket and yes. uh, slam it on the ground, still, still kind of just on the ground herself so that it essentially appears, uh, the, the swirling smoke of her healing sparklers appear on top of both of us. Uh -huh. um she's gonna cast it at the, the highest level that she can which means both of us are getting 12 hit points back right now okay so, because silas lets us do maximum amounts of healing yep um and then she's gonna groggily stand up a little bit and go i don't i don't know if i can i don't know if i can uh, dive into that but i get at least 
protect the two of you for the moment. And as she stands up, she'll move back like five feet as she's going to flip forward. And that giant black ox that once locked horns with Tall Run yes. that now actually kind of looks like him now is going to appear <gasps> as that is the the biggest beefiest thing that she can think of at this moment to turn into and is going to paw the ground and snort and just stand there being like come at me pepto bismol <laughs> and that is my turn all right is um, pivim in the circle of the, the sparklers no, no pivim got... was in robin's arms <laughs> I, uh, okay yeah, it's uh, so at there. this point it's just you, and then uh, Silas would know to get in it. So, okay. Out, out of curiosity, though, like, I mean, everybody's within five feet, though. If Pivum came back to Robin's arms, right? Like, well, it, yes, it, but they're it, in the goo; they're gone. They got oh, dragged. They got pulled. They, they, they got, got dragged, dragged in. in. Got it, got it. Yeah, got it's it's Perusa, yeah. Robin, and Pivum got dragged in. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's all you're doing now, Neb. Yeah, I'm playing defense for the moment until I can figure out how to get into the goo, but uh, it, the Pepto-Bismol didn't seem like something a reef shark, shark could breathe, so he's going to stay here and be <laughs> and be intimidating. And be intimidating. Um, one more. An arm reaches out ooh, for Maeve. That's going to be, oh God, a 31. Oof. The, I mean, the, it's an impossible. Join us. <laughs> <laughs> and as I go, I draw my, my sword. I'm, I'm, 18. I'm like, if I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> 18 acid damage. Okay. Are you down? Nope. No. Wow. All right. Ooh, it slaps you. you. That's right. It slaps you. You take 18 poison damage, but it does not hold on to drag you in. Um, I have a weird you... question. Yes. Since Maeve and I were essentially right on top of each other and it's reached out to yes. slap her as it pulls back, is it leaving my threat range? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Go not for that, it. Not that as an oh, ox, I'm going to oh, do a ton of damage. Happening. Can I also... Yeah, let's do it. As it pulls back, we'll say we'll say this one in particular for some reason uh, actually pulls oh. way way back. Maybe it's 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 you know confused that it didn't kill you right off the bat. Um, go ahead. Neb let's do let's do some op attacks on it just for fun. Neb has only ever locked horns as an ox. She hasn't actually attacked. So with an eight, she she thinks about it a little too late and is like, oh, I have horns. <laughs> <laughs> I like the penny misses opportunity as attack that the <laughs> minister just gave us. A 19 will hit. Yeah. Go ahead with your op attack. I'll take it. <laughs> six. A six. All right. Uh, for a little oh, wait, slice. No, sorry. Uh, okay. Sorry. A uh, 10. A 10? Okay. A little slice. Again, you're looking at this enormous, so many tentacles, but you're able to get a little slice on the one as it just kind of backs away from you, um, uh, kind of almost retracting into the back into the gash below. Um, that's the end of that. Maeve, it is now your turn. All right. You know what? They're, they're in. I'm going for it. Be before you go, if you want 12 more hit, hit points. I absolutely do. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. Um, and I will, I will, what will I do? I will dash, uh, toward it as my bonus action, mm -hmm. and then I will leap into it and attack. Okay. I'm just, I'm just going full out because you run. We're going to cut it. it out from the inside, and you dive. Yeah, absolutely. Swan sword first, dive. Though. Sword first. Blade um, first. 
<laughs> clear a path for myself. <laughs> in, do what this, they did. Into this, this gash, this membrane, uh, into this pink ooze. Um, you know, certain places where it pulls away from the edges and you can see that there's a hole or you can go straight into it. Which are you, which are you aiming for? Um, I, so I'm thinking if I'm going to stick with this cell inclination, yes. I paid attention in school and I'm thinking yes. I have to go for a nucleus. Okay. So that's going to be pretty much dead center. Um, All right. If I get that out, then I can get everybody out. Perhaps. Go ahead and give Hope. me an attack. Oh, sorry. Not an attack roll. And I, uh, yeah, an attack roll. Cause you're attacking, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, Twenty-one, a twenty-one to hit will hit. Give me some damage. Okay. Grab anything else I can throw on this. Mm. Uh, may I throw my uh, my uh, um. Come on, words. <laughs> My potential Shoot. energy on it. Your potential energy? Yeah. So it can't. Yeah. It can't move. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Go ahead. That's me. One more. One more day. Right? Get it, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, six, twelve, fifteen, twenty. 24. 24 damage? Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. And it's, you all... it's got the go ahead and moves, but I'm assuming it's not going anywhere because it seems it's to be a big. It's pretty big. Uh, you, you all are, you know, whoever's left, Neb and uh, Silas, you watch as Maeve just runs forward, leaping in the air, swan dive, her, her sword extended as she dives blade first into this creature as she does more of this sort of acidic um, um, goo and ooze kind of splashes up around her onto the surface outside as she disappears inside of it and uh, unless there's something else you'd like to do Maeve we'll come back to you we can come back to me all right fantastic Feruza I'd like you to make a death saving throw just okay. Let me actually make myself officially dead on this thing. <laughs> right? I am unconscious, not it. dead. Unconscious. <laughs> unconscious. Unconscious. Oh shoot. Okay. Let's see. You get advantage as well. Yes. Oh, I get, get advantage. advantage. Okay, that's good to know. And oops. What the heck? <laughs> Plus. Oh, I get advantage. Let's try it again. Otherwise, I roll a 20. Plus. No, no plus. Oh, no. 30 plus one. 13 or one? A 13. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a save with okay. advantage. Okay, cool. Um, Robin. Death saving trophy. My turn. Ah. We have one, one point. Uh, success. <laughs> a success. Yep. Okay. Silas. All right, you see Silas um, just kind of like takes a deep breath for a moment. You see this uh, mm. starlight energy. His eye starts to flare up quite a bit, and he takes just a really, really deep breath. As as it looks like you're going to do what I think you're going to do, you're going to see that Neb is going to very intently like look at where her healing stuff is. <laughs> yeah, no, no, he he's very aware, and and he has planned. Uh, okay. and, and he's he's just going to <laughs> swallow almost, and you see mm -hmm. the starlight just wash like head to toe, and he kind of shakes shakes it off a little bit, like some of the um, uh, burns and stuff are, are kind of knitting up a little bit, and then he's uh, he's going to say, "All right, mailbox, I guess the only way out is through," and then he's going to take off flying through the sparklers. <laughs> Okay, good. You get fifteen or uh, twelve health back. Thank you, which because puts me, which puts me right on the nose at maximum. Okay. Um, and then, uh, and then I am going to fly straight through whatever gash or anything else that gotcha, is, like in the straight yeah, direction, 
of everybody, <laughs> everybody else <laughs> as I get into that or if I get into that. Uh -huh. um, like what I am going to be because that's, you know, action, yep. movement um, at that point. And then I'm going to, um, you know, potentially with a bonus action, depending on what I see down there. Um, I am going to, um, I am trying to push anybody that I can with me down further because he's got a theory that this is like the electric fence of this thing and uh, trying to get interior. Okay. So, so you are, you are looking to, to a bull rush one of them if I can and try to pull, push them down further. Um, hoping that I can get under tentacles. Oh, sorry. Say, say again, you cut out. Yeah, sorry. Um, just you trying to out. bull rush one of them, right. like the direction that right. I saw, and hoping that I can push them further down, hoping that like I'm getting below tentacles. At some point. Okay. Um, let's do a perception check to see if you are able to pinpoint one of your allies within a this. A 15? You go down. Who who would you particularly go for? Would it be Feruza or Robin? Yeah, I don't know exactly what their point of entrance was. Um, All kind of in the same area there because yeah, they were so pulled off the bank. Probably Robin because I knew that she okay. had to them. Okay. So you're trying to kind of follow that trajectory because if Feruza came in sort of from the left, Robin came in from the right. So you're going to try to kind of follow that trajectory. As you squelch into this this. <laughs> ooze this goo um you cannot see this is completely you know if you open your eyes you just searing pain of acid on your eyes so you keep them closed but reaching out almost swimming through you just feel the tip the edge of a rubber boot in front of you so you have not succeeded at like grabbing her but you know you think you know where she is and yep. that's the end of your turn, Silas? Yep. Okay. We have Maeve and Neb still on the bank. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Maeve jumped in. We just have Neb on the bank. I'm, I'm it. I'm a big ox left alone on a bank. <sighs> big ox alone on a bank. Um, <laughs> fantastic. Dang. Three of these are coming your way. That's okay. <laughs> oh, that's, let's see. That's going to be a 18 to hit. Oh, yeah. Oh. The next one's going to be a 27. Uh -huh. And the last one, whoo, is going to be a, again, a 30. Uh -huh. oh. All three. All right. I'm not rolling damage for this. How much do you have left with your ox and your thing? I can roll it. Uh, well, you might have to. Okay, so okay. the ox has 15 health, which I'm assuming goes away, and then it becomes mm -hmm. Neb again. Uh and then depending on how you roll, we'll see what happens. Again. Okay. So I've, I've, I've knocked out your ox with the first hit. Okay. Now for Neb. Eighteen acid damage from the second hit. Okay. Third hit. Twenty-one acid damage. Oh. Uh, no, okay for a second i okay uh yeah i'm down all right oh, okay. and with that last one it grabs you and alone silent on this bank as it pulls you off that crispy bank and into the gash from the overhead bird's eye shot it is just Pivim is going to make a death saving throw. He's going to fail. That's his second. Wait, he has advantage, right? Still? He has advantage still? Okay, we're going to turn. Here we go. Let's yeah, see. As long as Silas desperately, is still... desperately hoping. Uh huh. He's going to want that advantage because the second roll was a natural one. So he's going to take the oh. single fail. Okay. So... Yeah. Sure. Neb, you're down. Please make a death saving throw. Okay. Uh, this went so well the first time. I do have advantage though, so you that's do? a seventeen. Oh, good. Okay, that's a save, and that's a four. So I'll take the seventeen. <laughs> Maeve, you are conscious. You have 
dove into this. You are going to take six acid damage just for being in contact with it. Mm -hmm. But you can take your turn. You, like Silas, dove into the meat of this thing. So you cannot see. Every time you open your eyes, it's just like lemon juice burning. Mm. Um, you know, you can kind of, you're holding your breath and you're not anywhere near, you know, that kind of a consideration. But what would you like to do as you're kind of, you know, swimming through this sort of goopy substance? I'm just going to keep heading straight down. Just, just journey to the center of the earth style we're, we're straight down we're very inner space right now it's just you're like su you're swimming I'm, forward the only thing i can think of <laughs> is that that's just the way to go just you know uh trying gotcha. to find gotcha we uh, were told uh, to do you want to make an door. attack as you're going yes absolutely um and again i will use my uh my um um, I'm going to say as long as it's it's a basic, you are inside of it, you can't miss. Okay. So go and, ahead and auto hit. Okay, cool. I will take that gladly. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, That's okay. I've got four of your party on the road. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Feeling oh, a gosh. little bit. Um, actually, I'm going to... I'm gonna I, I'm gonna put my eye on it. Okay. And then I'm gonna attack it. So it's twenty-one points of damage. Nice. And it is okay. it is wreathed in that potential energy. Uh and actually sorry, uh twenty-three twenty-four points of uh damage. Three more rather. Okay. And I you know what I am gonna roll because there's a chance I might be able to fish for a crit here because that increases my odds of a crit. Go for it. Absolutely you can. Oh, I was one off. Oh. I got an 18. <gasps> Too bad. Nice, nice, nice. Close. Close, but no cigar. And just so as you are straight. Straight yeah, pushing your way forward and hacking in front of you with your blade, hitting easily and slicing through. But again, as you go for, you can feel that it just kind of sucks itself back together as you pass through but suddenly your sword hits what feels like open air as you are burst out of this thing and fall about 10 feet onto something solid hard feels like stone but smooth and as you wipe the ooze and Pepto-Bismol slime from your eyes and look up above you, you can see the pulsing pink above and the gash that you've made there that is now starting to knit itself back together above you. Um, we will come back to you, Maeve, in a moment in your round. Fariza, a death saving throw, please. Yes, oh, I did already. Remember, I did it. Yes, I was, like, we're back to you. Oh, you've, you've had a fail and a success, as far as my notes say. Oh, so I have to do another success. I've oh, never... you're going to need three of either before we know what happens to you. Oh, yeah, right. you keep going until you got three of a kind. Oh, this is officially roll, my... Roll. Well, no, I've died in a home game, but it was a weird... But this is my first okay. time like, dying officially. The first time well, for everything. All right. Hey, well, welcome to my life. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I know, as a barbarian, you're it's not, like, uh, you're not like, used to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Learn something new every day. <laughs> Rolled a seven and a two. Oh, that's a fail. That's a second fail. Back up to Robin. Death saving throw, please. That's terrible. And you're muted. Uh, there I am. And that's a save. That's two saves. Two saves, Robin. Um, even in your unconscious state, you can feel the warmth of Pithom, who is also still unconscious, uh, against your chest. Silas, uh, you are in the center of this. I will offer the same thing that I offered to Maeve. You are in it. You will auto hit, but of course you may roll for a crit if that is your choice. What would you like to do? I, now that I now that I hit a boot. Mm -hmm. um, 
I am going to, even if it damages me. Okay. I am going oh, yes, to I'm sorry. You need a D. Only one acid damage for being in here. Um, so um, as as that happens, though, mm -hmm. um, I am going to, uh, you know, as I felt it, I got as close as I could to actually put eyes mm -hmm. on the boot. And then I am going to telekinetically shove Robin and Pivlin 30 feet down. Um, and uh, as long as they are willing, which I assume they don't get any. They have savings, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> they have no resistance. They, um, I, I'm going to push them 30 feet down. And that's okay. my action. And then um, from there, uh, I am going to, uh, with my movement... I am going to go, I'm going to see if I feel like I understood uh, Feruza's trajectory uh -huh. as much as I could. Uh -huh. um, and I am going to go in the direction that I feel like she might be. Okay, um, let's so let's do a perception check for that one. Got it. You have shoved Robin holding Pivum 30 feet ahead of you, hoping that that will do something. Perception check as you reach out, trying to figure out where Feruza might be. It's a 14. 14 um basically you turn around and go in try to stay on the same line as this and you kind of swim forward pulling yourself forward um let me see i am also at any point in time i am yes. certainly trying to see now that like i've opened my eyes once to so mm -hmm. again, like I don't know if there's any murkiness anywhere or anything nope. else. Nope. This like, is yeah, it's okay. it's Pepto Bismol. You can it. it is opaque liquid here. Got it. Um, I'm gonna say yeah. You, um, you can feel just like the tips of her hair. You just feel a little something like that. You, you know, just at your fingertips. But you're not gonna be able to you know pinpoint exactly. But she's she's in this area. Um, until your next term. Is that all, right, all? So with my bonus, bonus action. Yes, bonus action. I am going to say, uh, I am going to feel her hair, like kind of, kind of grab yes. it a little bit. Okay. And then, and then I am going to say, this was all such a terrible, terrible idea, but it's not time for you to take a nap yet. I said, and as I do, um, she is going to uh, heal. That is going to be thirteen. No, sorry. Nine uh, hit points. Nine. Feruza. Ah! You wake up with nine healing points in a pool of Pepto-Bismol. Um, <laughs> Maeve, yeah. down below, suddenly, the lifeless body of Robin and Pivum just fall out oh, of this oh, oh. landing on the ground right next to you. You can't do anything about it yet, but... Uh, they just kind of land there lifeless. They're they are covered in this pink, you know, ugh, vial all over them. Um, we will come back uh, to that. Um, Sorry, cool. I just completely pictured that moment from um, Carrie Ann, and then all of a sudden all the goo just oh, comes yeah. out of the closet. Oh, I didn't mean to laugh at that, but it just <laughs> that's that's funny. Funny. That, is, that is an extraordinarily appropriate. Um, we'll call back. I like that. <laughs> it is Pivum's turn to make a death saving throw. Oh, God. He has two failures. He still has advantage, okay. though, right? He still has advantage, Silas? Yes. Okay. It, it's a minute. Okay. Two dice. First one is a four. Second one. What dice don't like us tonight? Is an eight. Oh, no. Robin, you're still unconscious. You can't tell. Maeve, you haven't had a second yet to figure out what's going on. When Pivim leaves his his body, Neb. Please make a death saving throw. All right. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a success, at least. Yeah. Oh, good. Maeve. What do I see now that I've pushed through? I haven't gotten to. So 
darkness, mm -hmm. just the light pink glow of whatever light from above is going through this layer of tentacles and ooze above you. Um, it does not seem to be coming down. You have seen no tentacles reaching downward, just a flat, almost cloud-like surface um, above. Um, and again, light is not penetrating well. <laughs> it is just a glow of, of pink above. Um, the surface below you is like a shiny stone black surface. Um, like almost like, like like polished stone um, beneath you. And off to the side, just about 10 feet away, Robin holding Pippin has fallen to the ground, a lifeless clump covered in pink goo. Um, do I hear anything? Do I smell anything that's... You can give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, it's an eight. The trauma of this moment. I mean, we're talking a minute ago, you all were taking a water slide and now disaster has struck. Um, is muffling your senses um, as you look over at two of your friends dying in front of you. Okay, and just two, one other quick thing before I mm -hmm. go at sorry, it's yeah. a lot of questions. Of course. I, I fell out sword first, right? Yes, you have your sword. So did that damage the stone at all? Like did it chip or did it was the stone I'm gonna say no. Okay. I guess I'll go try and do another medicine check on Robin and stabilize her because, but I'm worried that just, yeah. Mm. Medicine check on Robin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nope. <laughs> That's a six. Unable to stabilize Robin, you move over to Pivim and very quickly, you can already feel that he's cold. He's There's no heartbeat. You can feel Robin's very faintly in her chest, but there is no breath. Is, is there anything here I can stab? I mean, that's the mood I'm in right now. I just want to cut something. 10 feet above you is the pink cloud cover. Great. No. Twice. <laughs> right at it. Mm -hmm. Full force. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a nat 20 on the first Woo! one. The power <sighs> of anger. Yeah. Of righteous Revenge. The second, vengeance. Yes. The second one is uh, 25. 25. They will yeah. both hit. Roll so your damage. Uh, it's a D. Uh, First one is 17. Second mm -hmm. one is uh, uh, math. Come on, math. Uh, uh, nine. Come on, brain. Sorry. Um, Twelve, thirteen. 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 Yes. You fire. No! Screaming with all of this anger, unable to help Robin, too late to help Pivim. As you shoot this energy directly above you, you slice this pink cloud cover, this thick, oozing, you know, gelatinous creature above you wide open and falling out through this gash that you have made is Neb and Feruza 
and Silas. The gravity and energy of this pulling them down, there is no longer a membrane holding them in from mm. above um, as they As that fall. happens, I suck uh, the, the life force out of that thing and yep. I draw it into myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Claiming it as my own. Mm -hmm. It's like ours. Mm -hmm. You are awake? As this as this starts to happen, though, is there any danger of, like, getting hurt from this fall? No. No danger okay. of being Just hurt from sure. the fall. Okay. Um, and Silas, because you are, you have the flight ability, if you would like to resist this, you can. The others who are subject to gravity are going. No, You're I good mean, to go with I, it? If I feel it going down I, I mean i'm not gonna plop onto the ground but i'm gonna gotcha. get out of the yeah no mm -hmm. no one's taking any damage on this fall it's just a short okay. 10 feet okay. uh from okay. there feruza you are awake but you you know feel the sort of the floor drop out from under you as you know the tips of your hair have kind of taken this this healing back on and you've opened your eyes and then suddenly oh, the bottom drops out and you fall sort of landing on your feet and your knees on this solid surface and looking around you see Maeve you see uh Robin lifeless on the ground Pivim has sort of rolled out of arms Neb has fallen, um, life, you know, dying next to you. Silas kind of floats down out of this space. He's awake. What would you like to do? Um, Fruz is completely just like, like just confused out of it. Like, I mean, the wind knocked out of you sort of feeling and she's looking around and everything just looks really cloudy and dizzy because she doesn't know what just happened. She looks over at Silas and like just, because she can't even speak. She just looks yeah. at you like, what is happening? And she's gonna um, really quick, just start clenching her fists to heal herself. I mean, she has a tiny bit of healing for Stone's mm -hmm. Endurance, which just allows her to heal like a, a few more points. Mm -hmm. But she can tell she's still not healthy. So she like stutters a little bit. And she's like, where? So I see, okay, so I see Silas, I see Neb next to me, I see Maeve across the room, I see Robin next to me. Everyone is here. Robin, Maeve, and Neb are still unconscious as far okay. as they look to you. Um, Maeve looks angry and sad, I imagine. I know, right? <laughs> um, okay. And everyone's um, a bit bewildered. This space is just dark. But I can see them, though, pretty much. You can see of. them. It's very, very dark, but everything is kind of okay. glowing slightly pink from the little bit of of okay. light that is, you know, making it through this Pepto-Bismol. Okay. Uh, Fruz is just going to, like, sort of limp toward um, Maeve, Silas. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> whatever it is that we just... I, I, I don't think I, I, I could take another a hit from it again. So whatever's happening, let's just for a minute, like stop. Where, where, where's Pivum? Where is he? You see and him lying on your the eyes. ground next to Robin. Is, is he okay? You guys, why, why isn't anyone answering me? What's going on? Maeve walks away. Silas. Are we, are, are we, are we so out of turn order just right now? Kneel in front of him. Is there anything? Uh, you, you, you can be. You can be out of turn order, except uh, for the fact that we have death saving throws to make. Well, it, okay. yeah. The moment that Silas, you know, emerges out of there and sees anyone lying down. Yes. Like mm -hmm. conscious, so who is? Okay. So, well, let's say, so uh, Feruza, is there anything you would like to do? Um, with it. Moment? I don't, I don't have any, I mean. Okay. Me you you healed yourself so, up a little bit. You're asking yeah, questions. Up, Robin, gonna go we're gonna need like... a death saving throw from you before Silas's turn and then we can go from there. It's a success. I'm up. It's a success. Good. Robin, you see, she's still unconscious, but she's stable. You can see that she's breathing. She has a little bit of regularity. She's hurt. She's twitching a little bit in kind of a, uh, uh, an encouraging way um, as she stabilizes. Now, Silas, it is your turn. The only one that is still down is Neb and Pivum as well. So uh, as soon as, 
he 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 starts to uh you know eye glowing ring starting to glow and uh he kind of cups the ring for a second and then he says and then he starts to whisper some words and mm -hmm. uh he sees robin move a little bit and so mm. then he's like, psych, and he kind of spins to the side, <laughs> and, then, and then he's like, uh, and, and then he goes, all right, Neb, it's the never-ending story, and um, and he, as he does this, um, he goes, ah, and um, and and the the magic kind of floats out uh, and washes mm -hmm. over Neb, and she is going to get nine hit points restored mm. as well. All right. Neb, and you then, open your eyes, again, wiping pink goo from your face. And then I am going to fly down with my movement uh -huh. and um, alight next to um, Pivum. And I'm just going to see if I can tell what's going on like in, in that moment with Pivum, because obviously I'm going to heal him unless I know that that is a lost cause. I think he needs... A quick ahead. medicine check, please. Okay. Hey, and we, are, we will be out of initiative as soon as okay. six, six, 16. A 16. Um, I'm sorry. You 15. bend over Pivum. I've got a negative. A 15. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. You bend over Pivum, place a finger against his pulse, one over his mouth, turn to your friends, and just shake your head. So then, you're now out of initiative. Yeah. As, as that happens, um, uh, Robin is next to Pivim, I believe. Yeah. Um, and then I am, um, I, she's just stable, not actually. Stable. She's at one hit point stable, mm -hmm. but still unconscious. So then mm -hmm. I am going to just say, um, that was a real mess and uh, place my hand on her uh, shoulder. And then she is going to heal. It's going to be, let's see, uh, that's going to be 13 hit points. As Robin's eyes blink oh. open, taking in where she is and you all begin to look at each other seeing the wounds and the pain and loss on each other's faces well, wait wait what about pivum do you have any more silas you need me to do something uh, it's it's not about that he's not here no. what what are you talking about i'm gonna I, like crawl when, on over to his <laughs> When, form. when when I do this most of the time, I think I've figured out that like I'm just like psychically convincing people that they're healed. It's almost like I'm unlocking your body to do so. There's nothing to unlock for him right now. Like I don't I don't sense him. Like his mm -hmm. mind's not there. Well, maybe maybe there's something else that we can try. And Neb is frantically have those kind of powers. I mean, searching. I don't know. She's searching for her her mm. uh, stone, and as she pulls mm. it out, the diamond comes with it that she would picked up in the house, and something about it makes her pick that up in the other hand, and the the swirling colors in it. It's grabbing the pinks. It's grabbing the the light from all of us. And she's like, well, maybe we just. It, need a little bit more than good words and she's gonna put both her stone and the diamond on pivim's chest and she's going to try to picture the things that her great-grandfather told her when she was sick or things that her mother told her when she was ill like words of comfort yeah. and for whatever reason all she can picture is the stars and space and the vastness of it. And she's going to call out into that Pivum. Pivum. I, I told you I was going to take you home and it wasn't going to be as, as in a body bag. I need you to, to be here somewhere. And she's going to try to bring him back from the dead. All right. Tell me how we do this with whatever you're using. Uh, well, it is revivify, mm -hmm. and oh. uh, if it's I touch a creature that's died within the last minute, and mm. um, uh, they return to life with one hit point, unless 
so it, uh -huh. unless they've died of old age or missing body parts, uh -huh. and then most uh, spells that bring folks back from the dead, the spirit has to be willing. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. As you place these stones on top of Pivim's chest, you're struck by how small he is. Really just vulnerable. And you call out to the stars, to his spirit, hoping that he will return, that you will take him home as you promised. And as the silence settles, you hear two things. One is a thump, 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 thump of a very small heart starting to reactivate. Thump, 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 thump. His eyes don't open, but a slow breath enters Pippin's body. And as you begin to take on the realization of the enormity of what you have just done, you hear the second thing. Another thump. But this one, thump, 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 oh, no. from below. And with oh. that, we will see you next week. Not even next week, the week, two weeks. Yeah, mm -hmm. taking a holiday break. What? Week. Holiday break for Thanksgiving, two weeks. Oh we will see you on Children of Verte. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, players. Thank you, everyone at home for suffering through. <laughs> Oh my this gosh. adventure today with me i hope that it was a good kind of stress <laughs> i love you all and please remember that you are what you believe yourself to be good night everyone